<laughs> okay, now that that's all done, and I got the other nuts up against the back, and everything's all level and turns and rotates just fine, everything's lined up. If these magnets didn't line up with the other ones, it wouldn't it wouldn't be hard to turn like that. Take these jacket bolts out. These are long, so I'm going to finish this off camera. And the last one. Man, I mean, it is hot down here today. Humid. Rained earlier. I don't think the humidity dropped much. It just isn't much left in the clouds up there. The sun's out beating the heat down. Anyway, we got that down. We got to use the long socket. Tighten these down. I guess I can use this. And with that stator shorty, it gives me a chance to something to work against. We go from this one to this one to this one to this one to this one. In other words, you're skipping two in any direction. Don't do the one next to it, you can warp your rotor. That goes for on your car too. Stator will only allow you to turn the rotor so fast. There it goes. And my gap looks smooth and even. I'll go through and recheck everything. Because as you tighten one up, the one next to it gets loose. Oh, one thing. The reason why I turned that all the way around, when I'm pounding like this, I'm not out I'm not way out to the side with leverage. I'm into the middle. That means everything I'm doing is basically going into the rotation. A whole lot better than going like this. It makes the rotor spin easier. You got your cross in the middle. It gives you more effectiveness. gonna put out nicely. Alright, let's get some readings. Okay, now we got everything all tightened down. Before I go for getting voltages, I want to show you something. This is called a crow's foot. It's the next best thing to a bent wrench. Now, sometimes a bent wrench, this would be in the way. The crow's foot goes right inside nicely. Locks right on that nut and you can turn it right on over. But if you get a crow's foot, see if you can get the ones that are at an angle, not straight like this one. Because the advantage of having your wrench like this is you can flip it over and get a bite. Or a straight one here, no matter which way I got it on, I have less ability. Now, a couple of these are going to give me some trouble. I'm hoping this, I'm hoping this right here is enough for this one. Some of the others I'm going to have a problem because this one doesn't is not an angled one. Well, what do you want for cheap? Hmm. I'm going to do that like this. Okay. I'm lucky I got that one tight. I got a few more to do. I'm going to do them off camera. I'm hoping I can get them all with that. Or I'm going to have to cut a wrench. Yes, sir. I was able to take care of that uh, with this. Uh, one good hit. Start in your hole with it pointing to the left and set up like this to find where it bites and bring it over to the side, heel against here, 
and squeeze here. I found that to be the easiest way. And if it doesn't and it slips off, or you think it's ready right on the edge of biting, tap it up there, then turn it. And I did find out that almost all the way over this way, if it didn't bite there, that it will bite. But like I said before, I got lucky this time. Finding a crow's foot at the end is bent like this is the best crow's foot to buy, not these straight jobs. This was a cheap set that I could afford at the time, but I got them all tight and I'm very happy with it right now. Looking really good. So let's see, uh, looking at the second hand, one, two, three, four, five, a little fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. I'm looking at 6.32 volts and let's bring it on up to 120 RPM which is two rotations per second. One, two, one. Get it here in a second. <laughs> That's 120 RPM. I'm looking at 14.5 volts at 120 RPM. That looks real great. And once again, just because I like it. Shorten it out. Sure is fun. I tell you what, it takes a lot of energy to turn it then. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. I'm quite happy with this. It's going to do me proud. God bless you. Many good things to you and yours. Thank you.